Well, let's take off this inspection cover and see what awaits. Oh, I should jump right off. Look at that. Some of the studs are coming out. It's funny how it, it's almost like the plate's not flat or uh, something's not quite. I was thinking that the oil level may be higher than the um, plate, but I don't think that's the case. We'll know in a second. All right. No, it just threw some oil around. It's good that's getting disassembled. There's definitely some corrosion inside this motor. There's some corrosion on the inside of this plate. And that's not very surprising for a motor that's been sitting around here in Maine. We have a damp climate, certainly for large portions of the year. And uh, again, the years, the years do add up. They do. Let's see. Now there's a view inside the motor. The idle, idle gear, they call it. There it is, where it's geared to the crankshaft. Well, there's some corrosion, for sure. Still painted the original green. There's the cam follower. And the tappet, or the lifter. Oh yeah, everything's gonna have to come apart here and get loved. There we go. Before she runs. Ugh. You see, I think that might be one of those areas where there's sand pockets. So I'm gonna have to take off the other inspection hatch. I'll have to pull the connecting rod out. And just check things out. That looks suspicious. <laughs> We'll look at that. Anywhere where there could be trap sands, we want to know. Engine oil. I don't know. Maybe a little corrosion on the rollers. But the amount of effort involved to remove the main bearings, which are tapered rollers, you got to pull the flywheels. <clears throat> the flywheels are notoriously difficult to remove. They have these gib keys. These are taper fit and they're pounded in there. They're supposed to be tapped in there and they really don't need much more than that. But from what I've been reading at the factory, they slug those things with a hammer to the point where you need an act of Congress to get them out. So what I'm going at here is I'm going to run this thing and if there's roller bearing problems it'll let itself be known and then I'll deal with that but I'm not going to fix what isn't broken. There you go. <laughs> Big oily mess. <laughs> 